Donaghadee, a small scenic coastal town located on the Ards Peninsula. During the summer months, the town is bustling with tourists and locals alike. However, during the cold winter months, the town remains quiet as the sea rages on. Foremost, the rough chilly sea is best viewed from afar. But not for this group of hardy swimmers. Martin and his wife Catherine have been swimming for a couple of years before starting the Chunky Dunkers group here in Donaghadee, which has grown to have upwards of 40 people at its meetings. We got chatting to Martin's sister Alison, who is also a keen swimmer with the group, and we asked her how the group got to starting up. I didn't get the idea, it was my brother who started it and I had no intentions of doing so because I thought it was too cold until he caught me chicken one day. I thought that's it and that was what 11 years ago so that's how it started. Beautiful summer's day, we swam as children you see in Donaghadee so that's it was just bringing back old childhood memories and it has grown and grown so that was that. All grew up um, round the back of what now is the marina was the back it was North Quarry Hall and that's where we all swam as kids. Never came here because the sailing club always seemed to have rain over here, but we pushed our way in, so <laughs> and so everybody in the town should join together. When you first did, you did your first couple of meets, sort of how many people were turning up for those meetings? Four and five. Four and five. It was family. It was my brother, myself, two cousins and a second cousin. And then people began to see us and then asked what we were at, and then they started to join in. What is your proudest moment as like a family within the group? I'll be honest, my proudest moment was me and my brother pushes and pushes to, for the group to grow and people to join in. But as well, we have a big charity push every Christmas and we donate to the local, um, there's a called the Barn Animal Rescue Centre and we donate to Shore Street Food Bank, as local as we can make it. And up to now, we've gathered £65,000 for charities. And then the, the Mayor of Bangor honoured us with a civic reception. One night in Bangor Town Hall, to honour Martin's efforts in getting all that money for local charities. You always hear people saying, oh, the crack's great, and that's what I come down for. It's brilliant because I've met lots of people I'd never have met before. I mean, I'm long since retired, and I probably would be sitting at home watching telly or reading a book. But I just come down, have a swim, and meet lots of different people. It's great fun, so it is. Do you have any sort of hopes and aspirations for the group sort of looking into the future? just to keep on doing what we're doing because everybody can might come down here grumpy but you come out of that water's happy and smiling and to keep continuing to grow the charity so that you're benefiting everybody around the town. What would have been the coldest day that you've ever swam? I think it was just minus six degrees and it was only my brother and I were in that day of quite a few years ago and I came out and cried. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cold. It was like pins and needles all over your skin. It was nasty. But because you, you're with the ground, you don't want to lose face at the same time either. <laughs> so that's why a lot of us persist in going in. <laughs> and we scream and, and shout and yell going in. Sometimes we swear a word. And then, but you come out and everybody's quite happy. You have white, you say, oh, that was lovely, wasn't it? We all think, 10 minutes ago you said that was horrible. <laughs> But that's that's the positivity of it. It really is. It just makes everybody so positive and you go home in your bus. We also got chatting to another member of the group about some of the mental health benefits that open water swimming can provide. Alright, so Debbie, how long have you been down here swimming? I've been Numbers. swimming for eight years down here. Yes, yes. And what, what keeps you coming back down every day? Uh, what keeps me because I've so many friends. I've met loads and loads of people since I joined the Dunkers. I retired. I was able to take early retirement. I worked in the hospital and I was able to take early retirement and this is just just something to do every day and something that I really, really enjoy. We always have good fun and everybody's so nice and I just love being outside. All weathers, it doesn't matter how cold. Middle of winter, every day of the year, we're always here. We always meet up and uh, have our swim. Mm -hmm. Would you say there's many sort of mental or physical health benefits to do? No very much so, it? very much so. I actually had a retire early out of work on mental health grounds and just the strain of my job and the pressures involved with my job. And so I went through a difficult, a difficult few years, but coming here has definitely improved my mental health. 
to the extent now I, I have no longer have to take medication, which is really, really good. And I know from my friends here, it's helped so many of us sort of cope with, with different things going on in our lives, yes. Mm -hmm. You think I'll be swimming down here for a few years? I think I'll be swimming here when I'm in my 90s, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see myself giving up soon. And as the swimmers pack up for yet another day, I think the motto, just keep swimming, is one they hold pretty close to heart, now and into the future.